Hi, so today we're going to look at how to add a uh, payment option to your Weebly store. So you can see, first of all, let's go to where we would be starting from. So you've signed into your Weebly account and this is the um, page that you'll see. Bottom left, you can see settings. Click on settings and then go to checkout. And here we have the checkout options for uh, the Weebly store, PayPal, Stripe or Square. Um, so we are going to use PayPal in this instance. You can have all these options um, and you can choose which one you want to do. Um, country and currency at the bottom of the page, easy to miss. Um, so we're going to select that in this case for British pound sterling. So that's changed. And then we're going to connect our PayPal account. So click on connect and then input the email address that your PayPal account is linked to. Make sure you select the correct country and then go to next. Put in your password and log into PayPal and you can see we have successfully authorized. Sometimes in that authorization procedure, depending on your PayPal account, there might be a, a text um, a qualification, security qualification or something like that. Um, but in this case, that's all been done for this browser. And then I go back to Weebly. And if we look, you can see PayPal has been connected. Okay, so that means now that when we go to the store, and uh, have a look at that. You can see now that the uh, item is in pound sterling. And if we add that to the cart and then check out, it gives us the option to check out in pounds sterling and then that will charge through your PayPal account. Um, there is the possibility that you might need your PayPal account to be a business account rather than a personal account. There's no additional charge for that, and it's just a matter of upgrading. But um, try it in the first instance with a personal PayPal account. If it doesn't work, it's probably because your PayPal account either needs to be a business account or alternatively, it needs to, um, there's some options that you haven't set in your PayPal account uh, that allow you to embed the PayPal details into your website. So I hope that that is useful to you. And uh, please do let me know in the comments below if you've had any problems with that or if you've got any other ideas. Thanks very much.